my name's Roberto, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't hit the subscribe button already, please do so, and you'll be able to see more videos on pan flutes and music and so forth. So uh, hit the subscribe button. And um, this video is about how to play the pan flutes. So um, oh, I'm going to cover things on sound production, how to get the sound out of your pan flutes, and a few playing techniques. So to begin with, the principle is exactly the same as blowing into glass bottles or uh, plastic bottles. If you've got a Coke bottle lying around somewhere, you might want to practice on that first and you'll get the idea of how this works. And um, it's the same, exactly the same principle for playing the pan flutes because essentially what these things are is pipes. That's what they are, tubes of different lengths. So um, how you get a sound, very uh, simple. So they're quite, actually quite easy to play and really quickly to progress uh, with. So I'm just going to blow into one tube. So as you can see, I'm keeping the airflow going. So don't just go and that's it. So try and hold a note. So I'm going to turn around to the side. So your pan flute shouldn't be sticking out like that or too close to your body. So you'll see what I mean. So if it's too close to my body, you know, you don't get a great sound. If it's too far away, it's also not good. See what I mean? If I get move it too close, you know, the sound gets cut, um, completely cut off. So just have it at the right angle, which is roughly like that. So moving from one note to the next, you move up and down in a zigzag pattern. So that's how you play the South American pan flutes because they're arranged in two rows. So a scale will be played up, down, up, down, up, down in a zigzag manner. Completely different to the um, European type pan flute in which you play each note of a scale note by note like this. It's a different type of pan flute. Um, so, with the South American ones, they're played. Like that. So, that's how you play scales. So, up, down, up, down, up, down. Um, so, that's how they're arranged. And um, a little bit more about sound production. Try and um, hold, like I said, hold the note. Just blow and try and sustain that note for just say five seconds or seven seconds and count. So I held that for roughly five seconds and may have um, gotten a bit short of breath, but it doesn't matter, it's all um, practice. So. So that's how it's done. So make sure you practice sustaining a note. And you can practice switching from one note to another. Uh, just hold on to those notes. And um, a lot of breathing exercises used for singing come in really handy for playing the pan flutes. And um, practice the vibrato, so that's something you do, which is actually done in singing. So, for example, you don't just sing a note and go la. What you do is you want to go la, and you want to, you know, vibrate your vocal cords. So it's the same idea with the pan flutes. You don't just want to go, um, so it just sounds a bit boring that way. So you want to add more expression to it. So you go. There's many ways of doing that. You do it with the South American pan flutes. It's usually done by um, sort of increasing and decreasing the flow of air coming out of your lips. So like this. And it can be done in a more exaggerated manner like
that actually becomes more of an echo sort of effect. Like so, and that's just essentially kind of the same thing, but you're just exaggerating it. So you're cutting off the airflow more than switching it back on. So that's the whole idea with the panning effect or the, um, the echo effect, as I like to call it. Which is a characteristic feature of um, South American pan flute music. Um, now, some people have said, how do I get um, this a better sound out of the low notes? Um, to be honest, it's just don't overblow. So if what happens if you overblow, you go... That's an ordinary note, playing it normal. Now if I overblow, you get a really high frequency note in there, which is an overtone. And um, if it's done right, in, you know, in the right context, it, it's okay. I mean, there's a lot of Western classical music which has a lot of, you know, overtones, harmonic um, overtones done. And when it's done in the right context, it sounds fine. But otherwise, it doesn't sound very musical if it's just, you know, you're playing something that's not so out there, not so contemporary, and, you know, not so dissonant, then it'll just sound a bit out of character. But um, done right, it can be used in music. Um, but usually in South American music, you don't usually play overtones. Um, so you just want to avoid that by not overblowing. So just... Um, now with the, um, the lower pipes, like I said, really don't overblow, just... You'll find you get a better sound if you take a deeper breath and you just don't overblow. Um, also keep in mind that because the tubes are longer, um, they're the base tubes, so you will have a bit of a delay from the moment you actually blow into them till the moment the note actually comes out. There is a bit of, you'll find there is a bit, not much, but a tiny bit of a delay. So attack these um, bottom notes with a bit of anticipation. So what I mean by that is play them just a tiny, tiny microsecond before uh, it's actually meant to ring. So that way the note will come out at the right time. So I'll just play another um, bass note so you can hear. <laughs> So yeah, with the extreme low notes on this instrument, just like the extreme high notes, you'll find that you'll hardly ever play them anyway because um, for the same reasons as the high and low registers on the piano, um, if you play the really, really deep notes on a piano, they don't just, you know, they don't come out with that much clarity, so they're just not often used, um, same with the really, really high notes. So you'll find that when you play the pan flutes, you'll often just play roughly from here to here, those that mid-range, and that's it. Um, I just got used to playing, I got used to playing this little pan flute here, which is pretty much a nice, um, tiny little pan flute. If you look at it, it's like that. This little plastic thing just covers that mid-range of a standard South American pan flute. So I just got used to playing this little one here. But um, don't follow my example. If you get your hands on a genuine professional South American pan flute like this one, go for this one because, you know, you get those extra notes in there. And um, this is the, the heart and soul of South American music. So this is the legit, genuine thing. So um, go for this, by all means. Don't follow what I'm doing and go, um, you know, playing this one. So, yeah, definitely play these ones. These are the type of pan flutes that Inti Yimani play. They're a professional 
Chilean ensemble that play pan flute music. And I'll put these names up on the screen so you can actually check them out later. So you might want to have a look at Inti Imani. Ijapu is another good ensemble. They also play pan flutes. Um, so yeah, and these are the kind of pan flutes that they play. This is a standard Latin American pan flute. And um, yeah, so this is the kind of instrument that is used professionally. So uh, made from bamboo, um, tied up together. That's the traditional way of making them. And that pretty much covers everything to do with sound production on the pan flutes. Um, my next video will be on playing techniques and a few of the things you can do with this. So keep an eye out for them and um, thanks for watching.